Hello, uh, welcome. This is your um, City and Guilds Employability Skills Qualification uh, and Introduction. Um, to gain your full certificate, you'll need to complete seven different subject modules. Each one should take you about 90 minutes to complete. There is no test or exam. All you need to do is to complete the evidence booklets, which we'll look at in turn. Uh, but you've got to do it strictly according to the instructions. OK, these are then formally moderated by City and Guilds. So they're sent off to City and Guilds what you've written uh, to make sure that they meet the criteria. If any of the units fail to meet uh, the criteria, the whole certificate is returned for modification uh, until it does. So basically speaking, there is no exam, but you won't get your certificate until you've done them right. So it's easier to do them right in the first place. So just take your time, 90, use your 90 minutes. Um, spelling will not be judged in any way, shape or form, um, but it's important that you're understood. All the testing is your employability knowledge. So my answer to that is to respond with full sentences and not just single words. That will make it easier to read uh, rather than you just put one long word that you can't spell. Just write a sentence and it's easier to understand. Unless they've asked you to write one word, of course. Um, to complete the units, um, you can just complete them paper based, which we'll have a look at in a minute with a black pen. That's all you'll need. If you want, you can also complete them electronically, in which case you'll have to sign them just by typing your name at the bottom and email them back to me, Chris Ketchell at LearnDirect.com. You'll find that some units refer to earlier units, so in, it's easier if you complete them in the order that they're set out here, but it is not essential. You can complete them in any, so if you're stuck on a unit, you could move on to the next unit and do that one. Um, you will also need to complete the record of achievement uh, to claim your qualification and also to track the units you've completed, so it's best if you start right there. Uh, you can download and print a copy of your record achievement, which we're going to have a look at. Um, you will need City and Guilds registration. I'll have a look at this in a minute. I'm just going to show you the record of achievement that you'll need. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's printed out. Obviously, it needs your name at the top. If you do this first, it needs your name at the top. It's got um, your assessor's name in there. There's Here's the units that you're going to be... Uh, working through developing personal confidence unit 431 preparing for work searching for a job applying for a job interview skills effective communication and working as a team obviously that has to be done as a team but that can be arranged when you've completed each unit sign here uh, and put your paper unit in the back sign here to so you, you know which units you've you've done because you might not necessarily complete them in order uh, but don't date any units until you've got your registration number and if you don't know what a registration number is it means you're not registered so don't date off any units but certainly sign them uh, to say that you've already completed those units so keep this up to date you're sitting at this is official document city and guilds registration document and it keeps a track uh, of where you are um, with regarding the units themselves, the learning for the units, um, for each unit, just go here, just click the link. Uh, you can see it turns to a finger. That's a link to unit 311 working as a team, which you'll only be able to do as a team. So maybe if you're working on your own, developing personal confidence, effective communication, uh, and to run these, you just have to click on the unit. Uh, there's a little introduction overview of the unit takes you to a YouTube video just like this one you can uh, download um, the actual paper based unit okay to fill out and then each one of these activities there's activities 24 26 just work your way through just watch each of the videos in turn and come back now remember sometimes it's difficult to get back from YouTube but just click the back button to get you back to here just keep clicking the back button until you get back that's all there is to it and again at the end of this video don't forget to click the back button up there to get back to the main menu that's it 